Good morning, folks. How are you doing? Hope all is well in your world. COVID is kicking my butt. In fact, I wasn't feeling too good last week, and I was a little worried. I think it was just my allergies. But it's making people paranoid. Right now, when you're walking down the street, people are running away from you and giving you dirty looks. It's not good. I call it COVID fatigue. So be extra compassionate, extra kind. Know that you are here to help those weary souls. Many people right now miss their loved ones. They miss their co-workers. They miss the old normal. What is the new normal? Who knows? The new normal is definitely different. And for some people, unfortunately, they're not working and haven't been working for a very long time. And that can be frustrating and depressing. So if you know someone like that within your inner circle, maybe give them a call. You know, maybe take them a coffee over. Of course, do the social distancing and all the rules, that, which you know are somewhat monotonous and frustrating. But they do save lives. Here's the thing. We've got a camp that believes that nobody is really sick and it's some kind of conspiracy theory and we're being manipulated. We've got another camp that believes that it's far serious. Very, very far serious. Very, very, very far serious. Serious. So serious. Oh, God, it's so serious. Beyond serious. To the point where they have no joy. And I have some people within my inner circle that are that way. So that can be frustrating. I think you should be somewhere in the middle. I think you should be... If you can, work on your fitness levels. Make sure you stockpile some things. I don't know if toilet paper is the most logical one, but it probably wouldn't be uh, a bad idea to get some beans and rice, right? Pick some of that up. You can feed yourself for quite a while. One of my favorite shows on TV is Alone. I have often wondered how well would they do if they got a huge bag of rice and a huge bag of beans just to keep them over, you know, during the, the tough times. We are very blessed here in Canada, and I think we're very close to getting the vaccine. It's just around the corner. I know, though, that in other countries that people won't get the vaccine. And there will be probably some forms of hoarding of the vaccine when it gets out. The other thing is, too, you'll have a camp that will never, ever take the vaccine. And they'll take their chances before they stick anything foreign into the bodies. And you know what? I can't blame them. I haven't quite made my mind up yet. I'm pretty sure that I have developed the antibodies. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of people who work in the public have also developed some antibodies. The problem with the antibodies is, I guess with it morphing so rapidly... Um, it doesn't necessarily mean you won't get it over and over again. And then some people believe that it lays dormant in your system until you have worn yourself out. And then the next thing you know, you're back on the ventilator. I sure hope that's not the case. I'm all for herd immunity. I'm hoping that uh, it becomes diluted and it's not as potent as it once was, but maybe just infectious. It clearly is more infectious right now, though. And in Ontario, I think the numbers have been somewhere between 600 a day to 900 a day. And I would not be shocked if it's really more like 2,000 a day. Because the average person is not going to go and wait in line for three to four hours to find out they have COVID. And guess what? Then you have to self-isolate for two weeks. I'm hoping most people who assume they have it and have most of these symptoms, which is fever, sore throat, dry cough, liquid in the lungs, shortness of breath, dizziness, feeling like heart palpitations, these are all symptoms. Other people have had uh, COVID brain, where they can't focus, can't think, can't and have no energy. That's the other one. No energy whatsoever. So please, during this time, during this, you know, Christmas season coming around the corner, the best gift you can give to humanity right now 
is to be extra kind, extra loving, and show your heart. Show that beautiful heart that you have and be compassionate. And if you can, if you know that people are suffering, be it from loneliness or maybe they don't have the supplies or the money to make sure that they have good things. You know, I saw someone the other day buy someone a meal. There's nothing wrong with that. May you have a wonderful day. Thank you to my Twitter family. I am so grateful for all the things that you do to add value to my life each and every day. Thank you. Have a great day.